Hey guys. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Take whatever of this video because I've been trying to do this video so many times. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Okay, anyways. So this video was inspired by uh, Candy. She's um, on YouTube. She's Lopez Journey. And on Facebook, she's Lopez Journey to Conceive. Let me see. I got her in one of these tabs. Hold on. Yeah. Lopez Journey to Conceive on Facebook. So um, you might know her here on YouTube. I'll put a link to her channel down below so you guys can subscribe to her. We were talking, uh, or I had put something on her wall, and then she had asked me how my Lent was going and stuff like that, and um, she was running out of ideas for, like, dinner ideas for Lent. Um, so I figured that I would go ahead and, you know, write together a list, because this is something, like, oh, sometimes I struggle, and I'm like, whoa, what am I going to make today? I was like, I don't even know what I'm going to make today. And these things are good throughout the year, so you don't even have to just have them for Lent. Um, but right now it's really ideal because, you know, there's certain days of the week. If you're like us, you go, you know, 40 days, or like me, 40 days without eating meat. Versus some people do it only Fridays, others do it Wednesdays and Fridays. So, um, I figured I'd just put together a little list. And this would also inspire me to do the recipe videos on them because, I don't know, I just... I've been getting a lot of requests to do more videos on recipes and I've just been like slacking in that department. So now I am loving it because this is the time of the year where you can start opening the windows. I mean, not for a long time, but open them a little bit and get some fresh air. So sometimes it gets stuffy in the apartment. So I like to be in the kitchen then and just cook and, you know, just relax and stuff like that. So I will share with you guys a list of things and then... I will be doing videos here and there with things and how to make them. So, some of the things, and this is no, in, in no particular order, I just started writing things down. And then, like, once I wrote one thing, another thing came to mind. So, anyways, so the first one is ceviche. Um, a lot of people have different interpretations of ceviche, and you guys will see my interpretation or our, or our interpretation. Some people think it's completely raw fish. Some people just, you know, do like us where we just do um, cooked shrimp um, with, it's like tostadas basically and I'll do a video on that. Um, some people do shrimp, squid and something else um, like fish and stuff like that. So the way we do it is just with shrimp and I really like it like that. My husband's not so much of a seafood, like seafoody type of person. Um, depends on how it's made like um, fried shrimp patties or um, he'll eat or shrimp patties fish patties and shrimp patties I guess you can say he'll eat but fish and stuff like that like cooked in the grill and stuff like that he won't eat so anyways <laughs> nopales um, chilaquiles um, there's enchiladas and some people put like ground meat in there um, carne molida in there or they put um what else do they put in there? Vegetables and stuff like that. The way that I was always brought up to make it was um, just with cheese and onions. So I will show you guys how I make those. Um, chile rellenos. And you can even do chile, re chile, chile rellenos hogadas. Um, spaghetti verde. Which my um, sister-in-law gave me that recipe. So I love that recipe. Um, now I always... this. I always mispronounce this. And I guess I can wait to the end to, to say this one. Okay, anyways. Quesadillas de casa. I say de casa. Um, just basically you make your... I'll go, I'll go through. Everything's from scratch, basically. And it's still simple to make. Um, sopa, de, sopa de tortas de camarón. Again, that's like... Um, tortas de camarón, like shrimp patties. So, um, frijoles... Everybody pretty much knows how to make frijoles, but I want to do black beans. Um, my husband likes them. We don't really eat them that much, but I need to get back into them because it has a lot of iron, and I really need to bring my iron up. Um, calabazas. I want to say I did a recipe video on them, and I'll look. And if I have, I will... Um, whatever recipe videos I have, I will put them in a... Um, 
like playlist so you guys can go through and see trying to conceive you know videos uh, um, these videos and that video so you guys can kind of see how they all work out and you guys can just go to that um, huevos rancheros um, and sopas like sopas um, like conchitas, fideo, all that stuff, all that stuff. Um, rice, I've been asked about to do rice, so I'm going to do that. Also, this last one, it's really hard to pronounce for me sometimes, but it's, I wrote out how I pronounce it, wakamayas, so wakayama, wakamayas. See, I can't even pronounce it. Um, and that is known, like, this comes from... Leon Guanajuato. My husband's from Guanajuato. Um, he's from Sila, Guanajuato. So this comes from that region in Mexico. And it is so yummy. The first time that we ever had it was when my brother-in-law uh, was living with us. The one that passed away. When he was still living with us before we left to Texas. My husband and him just went to the store one day. We just went and bought some random things. And I'm like, I, they, he, they come back and I'm like, this doesn't even look appealing to me. Like... I don't know, I, I was just like, are you serious? That's what we're gonna eat for dinner, it's not even hot. But you know what, this is even good on a summer day. So they made it together, and then after that, I learned how to make it when I was in Mexico. They really didn't know how to make it, they just put things together. And then when I went to Mexico, my mother-in-law showed me an easier way to do it. So I will show you guys how to do that, because I love it. Um, another thing really quick, because this is take something of this video, so hopefully I didn't show this to you guys already. But um, I think you guys remember this. Back when we moved um, to the apartment upstairs, when uh, was it a year ago already? My cousin left behind one of these. It's like a fridge mag magnet, and um, it has papers in here. And it goes Monday through s or Sunday through Saturday, and then it has like slats here, and you can kind of like uh, plan out your recipe or your menu plan. So that's what I basically I, I was going to start doing again because as you see here I was doing it for a while and then I got lazy like I would just make whatever whenever I was tired of just going off of a menu so hopefully I can get back on track that way we're not spending too much money at the store buying a whole bunch of stuff because you know and not be able to use it right away or use it for different things and we don't even use it to its full advantage like with tomatoes when they're on sale if they're on sale and I see hey, I just bought a bunch of tomatoes and I don't have a menu planned out. I could plan out like days with sopas and days with rice and, and days with caldos and stuff like that so that way I can use those tomatoes. Um, so those are perfect dinners. Uh, so anyways, basically the way that I set it up was, uh, what was it, um, breakfast, lunch, and then it was like a snack type of thing or whatever. If we were still hungry, here's something that we can use and dinner. So I really liked it a lot. And um, as I see here, like the whole snack portion was either like fruit or smoothies or a banana shake or fruit cocktail. So those are good things to, to go back through and just start using again. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, but I'm going to plan it out. And then just do the recipe videos or just do the recipe videos and then kind of plug them in here and there. Um, which I don't think that last part makes sense. But anyways, this is just, if you guys are stumped and you guys are in the Lenten season in Quaresma and you guys are trying to find like something to make for dinner or you just want something different, here are some recipes that I'll be doing. Also, um, depending on how cold or hot it gets I want us to do uh, pozole for you guys and um, there were other recipe videos that I wanted to do so what are some things that you guys have always wanted to do that maybe I might know so just put something down below and I'll tell you hey I do know that hey I don't know that but let me attempt it and then if it happens or if it works then I'll do it um, so yeah just if you guys have any suggestions on um, what to make, let me know. But as far as this, this is my Quaresma list, my dinners for Quaresma. And I'm so excited. So I'll talk to you guys later. 
um, again, any comments, questions, or anything like that, let me know, and God bless.